Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the previous video I showed you guys how to make the fisherman uh, with the boat uh, out of polymer clay. If you haven't watched that video I will put the link in the description box. This video I show you how to make the wave uh, with epoxy resin. So I used this epoxy resin from Texpert or Texpert. Uh, it comes with measuring cup, mixing cup and some pigments and powders uh, that you can use to add colors to the resin. First of all, I mark the size of my frame on a baking sheet so that I know how big the width of my wave uh, should be. Then I cut a piece of uh, white tape and paste it in the area. Then I roll some scrap polymer clay and stick it around the marked area on the tape. It should act as a fence uh, so the resin stays in this area so it's a sort of like a tray. Then I measure and mix the equivalent amount of uh, both resin parts and I mix it well together. Then I add one drop of sky blue color and one drop of sapphire blue and one drop of green to the mix. Then I pour the uh, mixture in the so-called tray that I made. Then I mix another equal part of resins and mix them well and add only one tiny drop of sky blue and one tiny drop of uh, sapphire to the mix. This one should be uh, lighter in color than the previous mix that we made so we can have a um, gradient effect in our wave. So now I pour the second mix carefully in the middle. Now make the third um, mixture by mixing equal amounts of resin and pure it on the tray without adding any uh, colors to the mixture. Now add some drops of white color directly on the edge of the lighter part. Then I use a blow dryer to add some movements and natural effects to the white part. When you are satisfied with the results, leave the resin alone to set for a while. My resin takes like 12 hours or so. Uh, to harden, uh, I leave it to set until it is not runny anymore but still flexible. It took 4 or 5 hours uh, for my resin to reach that stage. Then I take the tape with the resin attached off and try to assemble it on my frame. I used a roll 
just underneath so I can roll the wave out of the frame then I leave it like that to fully cure now my resin has fully cured and I can now remove the clay and also the tapes now I use my scissors to cut any unwanted parts please note that because I made it very very thin and my resin remains somewhat uh, flexible Uh, so now I use a UV resin from the same brand uh, to add a bit of detail uh, for example uh, uh, on a little round window on the boat and also on top of my wave So on my wave uh, I add some vertical lines so that everything looks more realistic and then I mix some of the color that I used uh, on the wave uh, this time with UV resin to make the ocean under the boat make sure to use UV light immediately after application to set all those parts And then I use water effects by Woodland Science uh, to both glue the wave to the frame and also add some water texture um, at the lower part at the edge of uh, my wave uh, so that everything looks more natural so that's it here is my final result I hope you like this video if you did please like and share the video and also consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos thank you for watching and have a lovely day